joining Pokashevsky and Al Horford as it's going to be New Orleans Noel, the former Thunder player, right at center court. And the back tap. You know, they, they, they know that this is something that has to be their identity to make them work for it. Now, how about Pokashevsky with a rainbow pass all the way across the court to Dort. Well, the Thunder has played a handful of games without Gilgis Alexander on the season, so that is nothing new as Randall goes right into his bread and butter, which is getting to his left hand. Here comes Dort to try to start the break for the Thunder. Horford left open in the corner, 35%, and he's got himself a three. Primarily concerned with the defensive prowess of the Knicks, who are so good, one of the top teams in the league, because they do so many things well. But that little floater from Al Horford below the free throw line drops in. Barrett, and you've got Roby on Randall. Roby getting another taste of an all-star, and boy, what a smooth touch there from Julius Randall on the baseline. A couple of nights ago, already matched that total. Dort, the drive, kick, catch, fire, three. Maladone right down the pipe. The guy that has the basketball. Oh, Pokashevsky tried to send it back over to Roby, but Roby was heading down the lane, and we get a New York Knicks fast break. And it's back-to-back -back buckets. The Thunder much improved on the defensive end from where it was in the beginning of the season as that floater by Quickly, the rookie, out of Kentucky is good. Well, the Thunder don't have a problem grinding out games. There have been some low scoring output so far in the season. As Maladon a little up and under action right at the free throw line. Well, how about this lineup? You got a Williams, Jerome, Roby, excuse me, Moses Brown off the nice feed and the scoop pass there from Williams. And he slams it home. That's just a beautiful example of it between Kenrich and Brown. And quickly, he's got his second deuce of the game. Before he took the shot. Smart basketball by Ty Jerome. Pokashevsky trying to keep his feet moving, and but a better offensive play from R.J. Barrett. Pokashevsky handling the point. This time dumps it down. Brown, little left-handed hook, and he banked it in over Taj Gibson. His 12 rebounds the other night against the Mavericks are still resonating as he was able to create a plus 18 on the glass for the Thunder. That's all. That's all. It's a lot of mileage. <laughs> coast to coast. <laughs> oh, Lou Dort driving to the rim, spins it home, counting a foul. What has been a solid offensive first quarter here for OKC. Under a minute to go. Quickly, oh, he's got his third made floater. Waiting his arrival. Double team comes momentarily. And the pass inside. Moses Brown sheds the defense and slams it home. Okay, I, that's like a tennis game. That happens so fast. Personnel available this afternoon, and you come up with almost the same results as you did against the Mavericks. Oh, Another please. and one. Hurts oh, no. got in deep, back outside. Quickly with the shot clock under five. He's going to have to make his move. Williams avoids committing the foul and quickly still gets it up. In it. And he knows where he wants to get to on the floor. Well, you know, I'm going to say the same thing. If you're anybody on the floor with Ty Jerome, you got the basketball, get your hands raised. Oh, and Emmanuel quickly is feeling it here in the first half. Back to back threes. Hit him with a chicken wing just to let him know you got the rebound. But I'm going to remind you, I'm still here. Guys, Gibson's been in the league a long time. I'm sure he's feeling like, hey, hey young fella, I, I, I got this. I had this. By Tom Thibodeau bringing him over. Over, a player he knows, who's coached before, former MVP of the league. What a play there, Ty Jerome Kenrich Williams once again connecting. And understand how plays are going to develop way earlier than, than I certainly could. As Burks continues to chuck up shots, and that time he got the friendly hop. It's only been there, what, maybe a week, a couple of weeks now. And you start to learn quickly how to play with a guy like that because he's a player. And there he is again. Right on cue, working his way down low this time. Takes a couple of seconds off. Burks is collapsed on and puts up a prayer and it drops in. As Horford trying to do his best to stay attached to Randall, who's going to work. Randall and Burks play the two-person game and Burks drives, had the step and scores inside. Burks again around the screen, and it looked like Jackson might have blocked the shot from behind. It pops right over to Barrett, and he muscles it up and in for a possible three-point play. With under five to go, Williams pulls up and scores the bucket. Nice fluid 16-footer for Kenrich Williams off the dribble. 
Just never really panicked. Stayed in the same groove. Randall across the baseline. And Barrett's three is good. As Barrett trying to size up Horford. Sends it back out as Randall was camped out of the corner. And he puts in the three. The Knicks quickly back. But Horford has been matched up on Randall throughout the afternoon. Force of the pass. Bullock lines up a three. And the Knicks are having a big second quarter. Got to get out there and try to contest that. Here is Horford right down the lane. Had the step and scores off the glass. Continue to keep an eye on the various ways in which Mark Dagno utilizes this roster and tested it, tests its, its limits. All right, thank you, Nathan. There is Al Horford fresh out of the timeout. Keep in mind, too, at the bottom of that second quarter, the Thunder were on a nice little run as well. Play Horford with the initiative that time going right at Rand. And the Thunder's leading score tied with Dort at 12. Boy, when he has had the ball in his hands, he's been operating with a purpose, and that's what quickly did. He'll be a little bit less likely to try to do that and leave Brown alone. Barrett a three, and he lines it up. R.J. Barrett from downtown. One of the things that Mike Miller mentioned to Paris at halftime that the Thunder want to do as Barrett slicing to the rim, and there is Randall with the distribution. It's based off a win now as the Thunder turned the basketball over. That's going to lead to a three-point play. Tormenting Dort out of the perimeter. With the shot clock dwindling down. Dort, six spin move. No. Horford on the offensive glass and the redirect. And you have to find ways to relieve the pressure. One way is with keeping your dribble and attacking the basket. Boy, and Emmanuel quickly is just wearing out that floater. Keeps going to the exact same play. And a clean look at a three. Quickly. And he's got himself another triple. Emmanuel quickly now with 19 points. Looked like Jerome was just afraid that somebody was going to come and try to create a jump ball. Here's a beautiful no-look pass in the first half. Deep catch there. Horford, a quick hook shot is good. Have worn over the years the Thunder with those home whites. I like those classic New York jerseys. As Barrett, boy, he had a big spurt in the third quarter. Rattles in another three. A wide open three for his, his teammate. That's just beautiful basketball. As and quickly it comes back again. Boy, as he is wearing that nail out. With that floater. I don't know if he's missed that shot yet on the night. Roby inside. Nice reverse. Gibson didn't have an opportunity to block it, and Roby has himself a deuce. 11 out of 28 as Jackson's got himself another bucket and a high kiss off the glass. Awareness too to stay out of the restricted area. Jackson to Brown and he was able to fight it up and in. There's still a lot of time left to go in this one. Nine and change. Randall back out on the floor for the Knicks. As he puts up that shot fading away and still able to knock it down as Randall now with ninth. Thunder beat the Knicks. 101-89 in New York. That was back on January 8th as Barrett continues to do work on the offensive end as he's now got 20. And the last seven now to New York to build a 15-point lead. And how about Randall? Already with a triple-double. Ice by Maladone zips it inside and a back. You've just got to score those baskets around the rim. The Knicks have done a good job of not allowing you to get in there in this second half as Randall's showing you why he's an all-star. just told you, and I don't, I don't want to raise your eyebrows too quickly, partner, but he's one of those guys who can do it all for him. Well, he, he certainly did it there on that possession with the staffs, which are much, much bigger now with all the information that's getting gathered as the game continues to evolve, as that's going to be another possible three-point play for R.J. Barrett. Okushevsky gives it up. Williams, one final shot, and that one rims out.